Hello friends, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am your coach and mentor on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today we are going to solve a case study. It is a case study in which a multi-speciality hospital in a metro city was facing a huge problem. They had huge patient wait time in the OPD which is outpatient department. This was leading to huge patient dissatisfaction. On an average, the patients have to wait for 24 minutes before they got consultation. The average time in other city hospitals is 10 minutes. A Six Sigma team was formed and asked to conduct an analysis. The first thing that Six Sigma team did was to understand the voice of the business and voice of the customer. Here the customer is the patient, so it is written as voice of the patient. Voice of the patient was to reduce the OPD wait time. The patient issue was that too much wait time was there before consultation and the critical patient requirement was to reduce the time before consultation. And this leads to CTQ which is critical to quality which said to reduce the OPD wait time from 24 minutes to 10 minutes. The voice of the management was low patient satisfaction score. The issue of the management was low satisfaction score reduces the patient outflow and critical management requirement was to improve the patient satisfaction score which was related to the wait time and critical to process which is CTP was to reduce the OPD wait time from 24 minutes to 10 minutes. The team created the project charter in which the goal statement was to reduce the OPD wait time from 24.058 minutes to 10 minutes by June 2017. Team charter was decided HOD operations of the hospital was the sponsor of the project Vice President Operations was a champion, mentor is Mohit Sharma, process owner is Dr. ABC and team members were ABR, OYZ and RTZ. The team started this project on 14th of March and they wanted to finish it by 30th of June. All the OPDs were in the scope of this project and any other department apart from OPD was out of scope for this project. The team created a high level process map in the form of COPIS. The customer was the patient. They want a prescription written from the doctor as the output. The process was that the patient used to walk in and they can also come through online. Registration and the payment is done and the person enters the OPD department. Once the person enters the OPD department, they wait. And then they meet the doctor. Doctor writes the prescription for them. And then there is a feedback which was collected from the patients which are moving out. The input was patient's vital their blood pressure, weight, height, age, and their illness history. The supplier of the information are patients and nurses. Then the team did a cause and effect diagram. This is a brainstorming session that they conducted. With the help of this, they were able to identify the different causes of high wait time. Like under people, the doctors are on round. The doctors are in the meeting in the morning and that is why they start late and that is why a huge wait time. Under the process, they had too many details to be filled in the form and less staff to attend the registration and lack of standardization as the process causes. Under machine, they had high machine uptime and they had a website on which the registration was happening. It was taking a high time. Under mother nature, some of the causes were that the day of the week, Saturdays and Sundays are high rush days and waiting room is far away from the registration counter are some of the causes under mother nature. Procedure, billing from card is a time consuming process and afternoon OPD is not standardized for some of the sub causes under procedure. After the brainstorming session, they identified the potential access. Some of them they could collect data on. So they created a data collection plan. The project Y was continuous. Patient satisfaction service score was again a continuous X. Doctors unavailability is a discrete X. Doctors are available or not available. Support staff is available or not available. Less counters for registration is a discrete X. Number of counters open like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Morning OPD or afternoon OPD is again a discrete X. Days of the week is again a discrete X. And week of the month is again a discrete X. So after this, a data has been collected. And I will take you to mini tab to show you how these X's were tested with the Y. First thing the team wanted to test was that whether the patient satisfaction is a derivative of wait time or not. Whether patient satisfaction is impacted by the wait that they have to do before consultation. So in column C1, I have OPD wait time. 
and in column C2, I have patient satisfaction survey score. My Y is continuous, which is OPD wait time and satisfaction survey score is continuous. So I will do a regression analysis here. I will go to stat regression and fitted line plot. Under response Y, I will enter OPD wait time and under predictor variable X, I will enter patient satisfaction score and I'll click OK. So if you look at this graph, R square adjusted value is 90.4% which is greater than 65% indicates that patient satisfaction is a highly significant contributor factor of OPD wait time. Like for example, if my OPD wait time is high, my patient satisfaction goes down. You can see this line is a negatively trending line. I get a high patient satisfaction score of 5 when my wait time is around 10 or less. And when my wait time is between 40 to 50 minutes, I only get a survey satisfaction score of 2. Satisfaction survey is a contributing factor of OPD wait time. We have to do something to reduce this OPD wait time. Otherwise, patient satisfaction will be impacted. To proceed further and to analyze all these x's with y, the hypothesis testing, we need to check whether our y is normally distributed or non-normally distributed. So to check the normality, we will go to stat, basic statistics and graphical summary. Under variables, we will enter OPD wait time and we will click OK. P-value of 0.612 indicates that it is a normal data and the mean is 24.058. If you look at the standard deviation, it is again very huge, which is 9.979, which is approximately 10. So that could also be one of the problems. Next thing that we will do is the hypothesis testing, with the help of which we will identify whether these potential axes are significant to project Y or not. Project Y is continuous and normal. And the first x is discrete and has two or more than two variables. So we will perform one way ANOVA test. We will go to stat ANOVA one way. Under response, we will select OPD wait time. And under factor, we will select doctors available on the seat and click OK. P value of 0, 0.000 suggests that it is a significant x. So doctor should be available, then the wait time is less. If you look at this graph, doctors available on the seat has lesser wait time, which is 8.99, which is way less than when they are not available on the seat, which is 26.857, which means doctors should be available on their seat whenever the OPD time starts. The next X is support staff. So it is again a discrete X with two variables, less or appropriate support staff. So for that, we will again do ANOVA test. For that, we will go to STAT, ANOVA, one way. Under response variable, OPD wait time is there. Under factor, we will enter support staff. And we will click OK. P value of 0, 0.000 suggests that support staff is also a significant X. And when we have appropriate staff, we have mean of 13.151. And when we have less staff, we have mean of 20.732. So which means this is also a significant X and support staff should be appropriate. So the next X that we are going to test is the number of counters open for registration. We'll go to STAT, ANOVA, one way ANOVA. In response, we will have OPD wait time. And in factor, we will have counter open for registration. And we will click OK. If you look at the p-value, it is 0, 0.00. It also indicates that this x is a significant x. And when we look at the counters which are open for registration, 1 to 6, when we have five or six counters open for registration, we only take nine to 10 minutes of wait time before they can see the doctor. Likewise, we will test all these X's. For you, I will test one more X, which is day of the week. We'll go to stat ANOVA one way. Under factors, we will change this value to day of the week. 
and we will click OK. Here the p-value is greater than 0.05. It means day of the week is not impacting the project Y. You can look at this. Monday 23.7, 23.54 like this. It is all in the same range. So day of the week is not impacting OPD wait time. So now if you look at the summary of the analyze phase, OPD wait time is a continuous Y and patient satisfaction, do doctor's availability, support staff, counter, open, shift morning or evening, week of the month, all are the axes which are tested. Their hypothesis tests were conducted and whether they were significant or non-significant has been listed here. Once you create all of this, the team moved into the improve phase. Team wanted to conduct a design of experiment in which they wanted to see doctor's availability, support staff and number of counters all these three together can they impact on the overall OPD wait time. For that a design of experiment was conducted. There were three factors doctors availability, support staff and a number of counters and there were two levels of each factor doctors availability yes or no support staff are five or six in number and number of counters open are five and six in number. They wanted to identify minimum OPD wait time condition. We will go to stat, DOE, factorial plot, create factorial design. Number of factors are three. We go to designs and we click on full factorial design and we will have number of replicas as two and click OK. We will go to factors. In the factors, you will write down doctor's availability. Is it a text data? Yes or no. Second one is support staff. Five or six support staff. The third one is number of counters. Five or six. We click OK and OK. So now 16 runs are created. Doctor is available. Staff support staff is 6 and number of counters are 6. We have to take two readings for each of these runs. Doctor available is yes. Support staff is 6 and number of counters are 6. And then we have to see what is the OPD wait time. Suppose this is 9 minutes. So this is 9.1 minutes. No two readings would be same if we have set up the same parameters also. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So this is what the team has to do. They have to physically go and take these readings. So once you have taken all these readings of OPD wait time, then you will go to stat, design of experiment, factorial design and Q plot. Click here. In the response variable, select OPD wait time and click OK. If you look at this particular plot and you see the lowest wait time is 9.05 minutes. The condition for 9.05 minute is the support staff is 6. The doctor's availability is yes and number of counters are 6. So when you have six support staff, doctor is available on time and number of counters are six, you have lower or lowest OPD wait time. The Six Sigma team identified this particular condition and they set up the process operations like that. Post implementation of this solution, the team again collected the data of OPD wait time and before and after project data was compared. So we have OPD wait time before project and OPD wait time after project in column C1 and C2. We will first stack this data. We will go to data, stack, columns, OPD wait time and OPD wait time after project selected together. Columns of current worksheet, we will have them in C3 and C4 and we will click OK. So the data has been stacked. This is wait time data together one after the other. So first we have OPD wait time, 
before the project and then below that we have OPD wait time after the project and this is the status. So team created a control chart which is IMR chart. Go to stat, control chart, individual charts and IMR chart. Under variable they will have wait time and in IMR options click on stages and then enter status here and click OK and OK. So this is the control chart which has been created. The overall wait time has been reduced from 24 minutes to 9.03 minutes and if you see the variation has also reduced the moving range the width of this particular graph the control limit was very huge here it has reduced to this much which is between 0 to 3.51 earlier it was between 0 to 37.03 the upper control limit was at 37.03 which has now moved to 3.51 a huge reduction in the variation also so with that the team concluded the project and I hope you would have understood how this particular case study was done and how you can also do analysis, hypothesis testing, control charts and everything in your healthcare data. So if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video pretty soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.